Mimi is in St. Paul listening on KTNF. Hey, Mike. Hi. Well, I'm confused. Um, I want to talk about Israel. And so can you even imagine any other country in the world allowing 530 rockets to fall before it took a step to defend itself? And then hearing the last segment, you guys were talking about um, not wanting to help fund the Iron Dome. The Iron Dome isn't just to protect Israelis. It's also so that they don't have to fire back and cause casualties in these areas of um, the Gaza Strip where the population is so densely populated. I just don't know. Tell me what you think would be an acceptable... When are the Israelis supposed to defend themselves? How can they well, do that? Well, wait, wait a second, Mimi. Uh, l- let me just turn it around and ask you something. Um, you are a, a, a family. Uh, you have lived in St. Paul, Minnesota for your, 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 your family and, and your antecedents for probably, let's say, 100 years. And all of a sudden, I show up on your doorstep, literally on your doorstep. And I say to you, Mimi, get out of this house. This is my house. Let me tell you why it's my house. It's my house because my religion says it's my house. Now get out. Now, I happen to be standing on your doorstep with a gun pointed at your head. And at Wait, your, who no, are no, you? No, are no, you, no, no, hold on, the, hold on. No, no, I listen to you. You okay, listen to I me. Don't know what no, no, no. Okay. All right, Mimi, I'm going to put you on hold so you can go ahead and interrupt if you want to. But I'm standing on your front porch and I order you and your family out of your house. And I tell you that it's my house not your house and the reason it's my house and my block and 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 my neighborhood is because my religious belief says it's mine and you sit there and you say well no 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 no. what are you talking about we've been here a hundred years i'm sorry get out mimi so you leave and the reason you leave is because you know if you don't i'm going to blow up your house and probably blow up your family so you leave and you move down the street And for the next 60 years, you sit there and you get very, very angry because I came into your house and told you to get out. So, what you do, Mimi, you decide, well, I know what I'll do. I'm going to start throwing rocks at what used to be my house and it'll break the windows. That'll make that damn Malloy move. So you start throwing rocks. And then I come outside and I say, Mimi, were you throwing rocks? And you look at me rather sheepishly, and that's when I level an RPG at you and your family and your house, and I pull the trigger, and all of a sudden, whoosh, you're all gone. Now, which is the terrorist? You tell me. But tell me on another phone call, Mimi, because I'm not going to get involved in a big discussion about this. Thank you. Wow. When does Israel have a right to defend itself? Well, um, (laughs) when does Mimi, when do I have a right to defend myself? I came in and took Mimi's house. So if Mimi attacks me, who's going to say, well, Malloy, you have a right to defend yourself because Mimi's attacking you. And somebody else will say, yeah, but you took Mimi's house. Yeah, but, you know, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Nah, possession is 99.9% of the law. And besides, God gave me this land. What the hell is Mimi doing on it? All I had to do was come here and remind her, Mimi, get out. God gave this land to me. Now, if Mimi doesn't like that, she can go live in the little ghettoized area that I've set up for her near the Mississippi River in St. Paul, where there's bad electricity, bad water, the fish are no good to eat, and Mimi can stay there until hell freezes over. Or Mimi can throw rocks at my house, used to be her house, in which case I will level a couple of grenades at her. So the question, Mimi, is not... When do I have a right to defend myself? I stole your house! I stole your neighborhood! I stole your friend's house! I stole stole the corner grocery store! I took it all! 
when do I have a right to defend myself? You have to be kidding. You have to be kidding. Let me recommend a book for you, Mimi. It was written by Rabbi Meyer Kahana. The title is, They Must Go. Read it and call me back. They must go.